the best thing that you guys can do for us, pray for us. Thanks guys. We'll see you soon. Hey, what's up guys? It's April 23rd, it's the last day of working, uh, actually out there in the field with the uh, customers, and uh, I don't know, kind of sad, but kind of happy too. Anyway, um, tomorrow I clean out the van, turn in all my gear, give my keys back, my ID, just part of the process of retiring or leaving a job and starting a new adventure and uh, it's scary but we're very excited to start a new adventure in the Philippines so keep following along and uh, we'll keep you posted what's going on uh, probably show some uh, clips from tomorrow um, but uh, anyway last day working out in the field last day of 19 years What is up? Last day, last day. You don't know how nervous I am about this, but um, yeah, last day of my career, 19 years with the phone company. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, staying in Cebu in uh, a city called Naga. Show me the city of Naga in the Philippines. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's April 24th, 2019. I officially am retired. Holy crap. It is uh, crazy. I don't have a job. I don't think there's ever been a time that I've never had a job. When I turned 16, I my first job was working at Sizzler as a busboy. But uh, yeah, my career of working has come to an end, at least for now. Um, company, they offered a uh, package, retirement package, and um, my first video I did told you about considering taking it we took it and uh, wow <laughs> today I turned in everything cleaned out my van 
and uh, that's it. But I wanted to tell you some of the emotions that go along with this. I worked with these guys for 19 years. My IBEW brothers, Local 89. And uh, it's been a good ride. The guys are awesome. Um, like family, you know? It's like family, especially after 19 years. But uh, yeah, I'm 49 years old, probably one of the younger ones to, to uh, ever retire, right? Jeez, I'll be 50 in July, so. But, uh, yeah, crazy stuff. And, um, you know, those of you that have been thinking about it, contemplating, should I retire and move abroad? There's a lot of stuff that goes on along with this, you know. I had maybe two weeks to decide to change my life. Two weeks. I had to make a decision to quit my job, to retire, and we did it. And we're moving to the Philippines. Why the Philippines? Well, my wife is from there. Um, she's been here in the U.S. She's a U.S. citizen and um, she's been here for 10 years. She loves it here. And, uh, but now it's my turn. My turn to experience living in the Philippines. Uh, it's affordable. Uh, we did speak with the financial advisor before we decided to make the big jump. And uh, everything's going to should be fine. Knock on wood. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's scary, guys. I got two kids, both adults. I got a granddaughter on the way. After she's born in July, then we are out of here to the Philippines. Kids is one of the biggest things for me. Um, I was a single dad, um, raised him pretty much, you know, I mean, all their lives. So that's going to be hard, but they are supportive and I really appreciate that from both of them. Our plan is to come home every year or every other year. So, and I assured them that I'm not abandoning them. Abandoning, abandoning them. So, Corp Kess, thank you for the support. Um, all my friends and family, thank you for the support. But anyway, my last day, I am officially retired. I'm going to be doing uh, videos probably once a week or so. To show you our progress I uh, got to make a book of uh, things that need to be done crazy stuff anyway please like subscribe and follow along on our journey to the Philippines all right guys we'll talk to you soon bye bye to guy the best thing that you can do is pray for us Thanks, guys. So we said the goodbyes. Say goodbye to everybody. Got all my stuff. And we're out of here. I am officially retired. Holy crap. <laughs>